Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 16 in chapter 33. Chapter 33 is about lens and optical instrument. So there you can see we have a convergent lens, right? The quantity given you can see is the focal lens F. And also we know the D0. And now we know the M magnification. So now we need to prove this equation. We look at this equation. This M is magnification. So very straightforward. We write down the definition about the magnification here. And look at this equation. It is the equation about the fossil length F and D naught. So it looks like we need to replace D I, right? The image distance. Another thing, um, as we know, we have a thin, a thin length equation. We can connect the d naught, d i, and f in one equation. So from this one, we can see we can replace d i as negative m d naught. So we put the d i as negative m d naught. Solve this equation, you can get function as uh, we proved. Mm -hmm. The next one, we need to plot the graph m with d naught. So now you can see we have this uh, equation, right? As we know, the fossil length is 0 0.45 cm. So the only independent variable is d naught. So first of all, we need to make sure the d naught, the medium should be 0 0.45, right? This one. And then as the d naught increases, see, as the d naught increases, this m will turn to 0, turns to 0. So if you plot it, it will look like this one. You can plot it by using Excel or Origin, any software you like. Uh, the third one is uh, uh, for what value for D0? Will the real image have the same size as the object? Now, question. The same size as the image has the same size as the object. And this is a real image. That means the M should be negative one, right? Negative one. So now we can see, we can just uh, what we proved is there. The m is f divided by f minus d naught, right? So now we solve this equation. We get a function for d naught. Input f, we get answer there. The next one, if we want to obtain a real image that is much larger than the object, much larger than object. So where we should place the object? So that means where should the d not be? So you can see we have this uh, graph uh, we plot in part B. If we want M become very large, it says the real image that is much larger, real image that is much larger. So that means the M should be a negative value. And it's also the absolute value should be very large, right? So it should be tends to this way. So it goes down. So when the M goes down, the D naught should be uh, very, very close to this value, right? So it just, uh, we can say, it should be there. So this is a fossil lens F. So that means the object should be placed a point just beyond the fossil point. Thank you.